What's up metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today we are going to do an overview of the Spartan Blades Palace. P-A-L-L-A-S. Palace? Palace. I'm not sure how you pronounce that but I'm going to stick with I don't think it's palace because that would be you know like a big giant house. I think it would be Palas. P-A-L-L-A-S. Both are probably incorrect but that's what I'm calling it. It's this beautiful button lock right here. This is a uh, made in the USA, which is outstanding. And uh, larger button lock for sure, but man, really good ergos. Made extremely, extremely well by these guys. Um, this is sent in to me. This is not my knife. So uh, Craig, thank you very much. And I don't think Craig's done much with this knife. It doesn't look like it's ever been touched. Um, it still has a little button stick, but that will break in over time. If it were my knife, I'd probably already disassembled it and fixed that with a little polishing around the uh, hole in the blade that acts as a detent for the plunge and pl polish the plunge itself, and that'll usually clear your button stick right up. If uh, you want to see how to do that, uh, I've got a couple videos showing you how to do that. I think there's two of them. One was on the Savivi Chevalier, and one was on, like right there, it's stuck pretty bad. When you really sling it open, it sticks. That's what it is, and it'll clear it up. But the Savivi Chevalier and the uh, Wee Coolix, um, I think it's titled uh, How to Speed Up the Button Lock Break-In or something like that. But check that out if you want to see how to do that. Very simple to do. And uh, we'll basically break your knife in instantly. Well, not instantly. It takes you a few minutes to polish it. But um, we'll get rid of all your button stick and make it feel much better, in my opinion. As I say here and play at this, it gets better. But one of the telltale signs that to that will work is like if I lightly open this blade and press it, a little bit of button stick, not bad. But if I really whip it out, then I get more button stick. Generally, that means polishing it will fix it, in my experience anyway. So, But the button stick on this is not nearly as bad as the uh, CVV and we were, or even the Kaiser I tried. The, uh, what was that Kaiser called? Ah, I don't remember. But not nearly as bad as those. Um, this, uh, the way this is made gives me Protec vibes, without a doubt, with the aluminum handles, button lock, definitely a different look than Protec would give you. And uh, I love that they put, I love it's made in the USA, but I wish they wouldn't put that there. Um, you know, if you want to put that somewhere, put it, you know, on the inside of the scale would be my suggestion. And uh, very minimal pivot, so they don't really have room to put it on the pivot, but it could put in their logo there, as you can see on the scale um you could put that on the inside also or maybe if you could do the button different maybe put on the button but this one has a very minimal pivot um i have not disassembled this knife this knife is not mine so um interesting to see how the pivot is on this i don't understand why they went that route but i'm sure they have their reasons um it looks fine it gives you more scale and less pivot but over here it's kind of you know, flathead screwdriver, or on this side, a Torx. Actually, I think it's an Allen. That's not even a Torx. That's an Allen uh, screw there, so, or a hex screw. But, uh, yeah, I really like this knife. Fantastic. With a lot of button locks, when you drop them, they bounce a lot. This one doesn't bounce hardly at all. Very easy to control it. It's buttery smooth action, too. Super smooth action. I mean, it feels like it's on air. It feels like it's on glass. Uh, kind of like a broken-in washer knife feels, but on a button lock, which you don't feel very often. I would say this is probably better than Protex action, honestly, other than the button stick. The Protex don't generally have button stick, but the button stick will go away in its own, or like I said, you can speed that process up. But as far as the how it feels when the blade is opening and how it feels when the blade is dropping. Ah, it's really good, guys. Really, really good. They did a great job with this knife. Um, let me give you the specs on it real quick, and then we'll do some size comparisons. All right. The uh, oh, Also, the uh, designer of this knife is uh, Curtis Lovito is the designer. So great job to him. If he ever happens to watch this video, 
fantastic job, sir. Uh, okay, blade length is three and three quarter inches. Overall length is eight and three quarter inches. Blade thickness is 153 thousandths. CPM at S45VN blade still with the HRC of 5961. Drop point blade, 6061 aluminum scales, and 6AL uh, 4V on the titanium clip. So you could anodize this and add some color to it if you wanted to, which would be pretty cool. And the weight is 4.7 ounces. So, yeah, bigger knife. And, uh, but, you know, it's not too heavy, though. It doesn't... 4.7 actually surprises me, and I have not verified that. I want to verify it. That feels... I didn't think it weighed that much. I thought it was lighter. Honestly, I, thought, I was thinking around 4, but no, nah, no, nah, I don't think about it. It's probably right. I'm, they're always right. I'm always wrong. But I like to prove myself wrong. <laughs> 5 ounces. Wow. They're claiming 4.7. 5 ounces. So they are a little under on their weight. Um... Unless this is an earlier version, and they maybe have came out the newer version that's, uh, they've done some milling on the scales or something possibly. I don't know, but five ounces is what I'm getting. All right, let's do some size comparisons real quick. Uh, here's one that I think is a good comparison. This is the uh, Tucson TS329, the Vandal. Overview coming of this knife very soon, so it's smaller. The Vandal's a freaking beast of a knife, man. He's... How about the... Uh, Jason Grant Gripper. It's a good comparison. Almost identical in length. I think those two are identical in length. Uh, what else we got that's long? How about the uh, Best Tech Exploit? That's another long one. Got a little length on the Exploit. Uh, how about the uh, Monterey Bay Knives Slayback XL? A little longer than the XL Slayback. Not by too much, though. Uh, let's do a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I think that's going to be... Ah, it's got quite a bit of length on the Para 2, also. Uh, what else we got here? That's long. How about the Spyderco Shaman? Yeah, even longer than Shaman. Not by too much, though. Maybe a half an inch longer than a Shaman and a half inch... Uh, a little, probably three quarters of an inch longer than a pair of two. Uh, let's do some. Uh, since it's sitting out here, sorry, I bumped the uh, camera there. The Scallywag Tactical Mako. Those two are similar in size. Fantastic knife for the money, guys. Forty-five bucks. Highly recommend. Um, how about the uh, Olite Freeze Two? Quite a bit longer than the Freeze Two. Let's do uh, some of the regulars here. Let's do the, uh, first let's do the uh, sheepdogs. The full-size sheepdog. Most people have a sheepdog, one or the other. And the uh, mini sheepdog. So, we'll go ahead and do our regulars real quick. And that should give you guys a good idea on the size of this knife. Uh, here's a Benchmade bug out. Here is a uh, QSP Penguin. And we will do the AD 20.5 and the Variant PE2. So that should give you guys a good idea on the size of this knife. It's a big knife, um, but it doesn't feel large in hand at all. And I have a medium-sized hand, so um, you know, it doesn't feel as big as it is. And the weight isn't that bad for the size of it. So I like this knife. I can't speak on the blade still. I have not cut or sharp or I've done nothing with the blade still. It's not my knife. This was sent in for me to check out, so I won't be doing any of that. But uh, made in the USA S45VN. And uh, retail on these is $300. They are currently sold out. I will link their website below, though. Um, they have a lot of other stuff on their website. And uh, I like supporting American companies. So uh, check their website out and see if uh, there's anything there you like. And uh, yeah, see, see if they have the offer. Because uh, I'll also link their Instagram below. So yeah, pretty cool knife, in my opinion. Um, I'd like to see them make a smaller smaller knife similar to this button lock that's uh 
three three and a quarter inch blade maybe somewhere in that range three to three and a quarter would be perfect for me that's the sweet spot for me but uh, i can definitely appreciate this one for you larger guys out there with giant hands you'll love this one people like cue ball and and craig obviously it's his knife but people larger like that would probably really like this knife all right guys thank you so much for watching um if you enjoyed the video hit that like button for me if you're new consider subscribing and i will see you guys on the next one